What up, party people, MTG next door. This is Stitch. Uh, I got six packs. We're in the home stretch. We got 12 packs left in the box. But before we go, I have to introduce you to Santa Claus. It's coming. Uh, I hope to have this built by Monday. Uh, is it overpowered? Probably. Do I care? No. Guard Dog made these for us a couple of years ago for Christmas, and I can't believe no one's built this yet. So I'm building it for tomorrow. Hopefully, we'll see. But let's get cracking on these pack of lackeys. So we are doing pretty good. I think we're at 80 something bucks. We have 12 packs to go, so that's not too bad. Oh, did we get a listy? Do we want to gore it up? No, we don't want to gore it up. Uh, and no, oh, look at this guy. Who are you? Uh, Edgar Charmed Groom. So there, our first party person, right there. Edgar the Charmed Groom. We got ourselves a mountain. I didn't even check to see if the camera was clean, but we all we look pretty good here. Blood Servitor. What is going on in this one? Uh, is he bleeding into like a chocolate fountain? Okay, you're in the party. Because you are the party. You're a it's a, it's a construct, so it's a robot. Do you really get to go? Yeah, you've got to go. you got to be in the party servitor. Bleed dry. What is this? Oh, this is that target creature gets minus 13, minus 13 under, until end of turn. If it would die, exile instead. Uh, it kills most things. So, uh, and it's an exile. So, good? I don't know. Gift of Fangs. Grizzly Ritual. There's a boarded window again. Seen you before, tough guy. Uh, diver scab, yep, seen you before. No idea why you would put a zombie into a diving suit. But whatever. Uh, alluring suitor, here we go. Who are you? Uh, two and a red for a 2-3 vamp. Okay, when you attack with exactly two creatures, transform the suitor. And what do you turn into? Deadly dancer. Oh, yeah. Yeah, bring it home, baby. Uh, and what do you do? Tra uh, so now it's a 3 3 with trample. Uh, when it transforms into Deadly Dancer, add two red. And then you get that mana until the end of your turn. And then two red, Deadly Dancer, and another target creature each get 1 0 until end of turn. Meh. But you're going to the party. Uh, you're. Hello. Hello. Needs no introduction. Goes directly to the party. So do you. I think last time I'd, we got a rare. I think last time I promoted you. Uh, dig up. Dig up. What are you actually digging up? Uh, one for a sorcery. Uh, and it's got cleave for one black, black, green. Uh, search your library for a basic land card. Reveal it and put it in your hand, then shuffle. And if you cleave it, search your library for a card. Put it in your hand, then shuffle. Uh, probably not worth anything, but that is playable all day. What do, you, what do we got, Carl? Wake up. And got a foil common. Put that over with the rares. We'll come in for Bramble Armor. And we do have a list card by Rob Alexander from 2003. What could you be? Looks like it's a land. It is. Ancient Den. <laughs> okay. Uh, yep, yeah, it's an artifact land. Yeah. Let's keep the ball rolling. Pack number two. There we go. Let's see if we get another artifact land. Oh, and look at this. Look at, the, look at the bottom of that card. I didn't do that. That came like that. Oh, it's all chewed up. Oh, well. Who are you? You look like you're like a cemetery gatekeeper. Yeah, cemetery gatekeeper. So you're not in the party. Got ourselves a land. Alchemist Retrieval. Cruel Witness. Syncopate. Serene Ambush. And we're in the Uncommons. Circle of Confinement. Wow, a circle spell. Okay. Uh, one and a white. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, exile target creature with an opponent controls with mana value three or less until it leaves the battlefield. And whenever an opponent casts a vampire spell with the same name as... Well, that's never going to happen in our, our format. So, uh, yeah, nothing. Uh, Dawn Heart Geist. Whenever you cast an enchantment spell, you gain two life. And it is a Warlock Spirit, 1-3. Uh, fleeing Spirit, another Spirit. We're in a Spirit Pack, folks. One and a white for 3-1 spirit, and then white. Exile three cards from your graveyard. Fleeting spirit gains first strike until end of turn. Oh, God. All right. So, and then other stuff. This this is a card built for standard, though. Uh, wow, look at that guy. Whoa. That's some serious art. Uh, 
Wolf can outcast, so uh, it's a six casting cost, 5-4, with a 6-5 on its butt. I looked it up. That's what that is. It's telling you what's on the butt. A spell costs two less to cast if you control a werewolf or wolf. And then what is on the butt? The butt is uh, out of control werewolf. Oh, the Wedding Crasher. Do you get to go to the party? Uh, probably not. Whenever Wedding Crasher, another wolf or werewolf you can control dies, draw a card. It's not too shabby. And we got a common. Oh, we already got you, Unholy Efficient. And another rare. It's a 2-2 two -two something. Torin's Fist of the Angels. Well, this isn't sounding good. Uh, one green white for a legendary creature human cleric. It's got training. Whenever this creature attacks with another creature with power greater, put a 1-1 one -one counter on it. Uh, whenever you cast a creature spell, create a 1-1 one -one green and white human soldier token with training. And then spit on Torin's. Value? Nickel quarter, got a common foil of bloody betrayal, and yes, we did get another list card. It's an uncommon, and it's 56 out of 65, whatever the deuce that means. Guttural response. What the hell? Counter target blue instant spell. Well, there it is. <laughs> There's your red and green counter spell. Well, no, sorry, it's a counter counter spell. Uh, I like it. Yeah, okay, I'm playing that. All right, two packs, and we're oh, we've only got five uh, party guests. I keep saying house guests because I I still watch that show, Big Brother, uh, the show that shall not be named in our house because certain other people who live here fucking hate it. Let's see what we got. Oh, what is happening to you, brother? Man, the art on some of these, I, I, like Mr. Pink says, I don't know what I'm going to do with these art cards. There, there's a project down the road somewhere. Because I've got like that many of them. Where's the camera? That many of them now. What's on my finger? Pack part. Look, pack part on the finger. What are you? Oh, we got a foil forest. A braid. Okay, I think that's a reprint. Foil forest. Grift rider. Parish blade trainee. And so we are in a white pack. Adamant will. Militia rallier. And groom's finery. Uh oh. What are you? One in a black for a equipment. Uh, Quick Creature gets 2-0, it gets an additional 0-2, and has Death Touch as long as an equipment named Bride's Gown is attached to a creature you control. Huh. So that's the Groom's outfit. If you got the Bride's outfit, you're doing some other shit. Way too much happening in there for me to be even remotely interested in it. Oh, here's the Bride. Okay, so these packs are, these are, are definitely, definitely seated, folks. So you have to pay four to get this going, then four to get this going. You need to be in white and black because you're in vamps. You're probably in that anyway. Uh, equip creature gets 2-0 and 0-2 and has first strike as long as Groom's Finder is attached to a creature control. So put them back on the seat, tron them up, and you get a 4-4 four, four extra, and it has first strike and death touch. Okay, do something with that, Doc. Go. <laughs> Weaver of Blossoms Common, Uncommon of Skulking Killer. What is this? What's going on in that artwork, man? Fucking crazy. Uh, three in a black for a vampire assassin. Uh, it's got the word ass in it twice, so it better be good. Uh, it's a 4 2. Enters the battlefield, target creature opponent go, go, controls gets minus two, minus two on turn to turn if that opponent controls no other creatures. No. Uh, are you going to the wedding? No, you're not partying hard enough. Uh, oh, I went right into a, <laughs> a mythic, but it is a Vok mythic, so this is a commander mythic. Which one did we get? We pull this time. Donal, Herald of Wings. Two blue blue for human wizard through three. Whenever you cast a non-legendary creature spell with flying, you may copy it, except its copy is a 1-1 one -one spirit in addition to its other types. Do this only once each turn. Damn, that's confusing. Okay, Carl. Nothing is really worth that much in those commander uh, packs. Uh, Story Spotlight Rare. What did we get? Glorious Sunrise. Three a green green for enchantment. At the beginning of combat, on your turn, choose one. Creature you control get one one and trample. Target land gets tap, add three mana until end of turn. Or draw a card if you control a creature with power four or greater, three or greater, or gain three life. Well, that's something. I mean... Yeah, you get that every turn. Okay, Carl. Oh, we got a foil common, because that's how we do. Oh, hey, Voldaren Epicure. And is this, oh, we're going to get another list. We're getting a third list card. Three packs, three list cards. It is a Dave Dorman of comic book art fame. 2-2. Two, two. I think he drew dragons for this thing. Nope. 
So Goblin Assassin. Uh, three red red for two two. Uh, whenever it or another goblin comes into play, each player flips a coin. Each player whose coin comes up tails sacrifices a creature. That's every player. I love it. Oh, the chaos. Love the chaos. That's fun. Something you will learn, uh, folks out there in newbie magic land, red is famous, if for nothing else, it is famous for bringing the chaos. Um, cards like Scrambleverse, Warp World, uh, I mean, there's there's no end to some of them. They're just, I mean, they're some of my favorite cards. Uh, go out there, do your play group a favor, and build a chaos deck. They will love you. I seriously, they will. Did I do that? Look at that. More da no more damage to cards. I can't have done that. That's a big old ding. But on the insect token, I love walking in the woods. If I'm walking in the woods and I see that thing, I'm never walking in the woods again. <laughs> Whoa. Look at that. It looks uh, reminiscent of Nightmare. Is that a horse? It's a horse, right? Man, I'm dumb. It's a horse? Pyre spawn. Okay. A lot of horses in this set. A lot of horses. Uh, but, you know, it, you're dealing with, like, peasants and werewolves and vampires. So they're need, they need horses to get away from that shit. Here we go again. We can get Groom's Finery and the Wedding Dress again. Yep, Bride's Gown, Groom's Finery. Yep, these packs are definitely seated. Uh, common Weaver of Blossoms and another common Ragged Recluse. I love that picture. That poor, poor soul. You've just had a hard life, right? And you're going to get eaten by vampires soon. Or are you? Wait, what's on the butt? What happens to you? Nope, you go insane. You drink the potion and you completely lose your damn mind. Okay. Uh, common. There she is. Blood Petal Celebrant. I'm hesitant to let you into the party because you are a twisted, sick child. But you can come anyway. Uh, uncommon, oh, here we go, Markov, Waltzer. Wait, wait, wasn't Alluring Suitor waltzing? Yeah, Alluring Suitor was waltzing moments ago. So there you go. So they're dancing at this thing. Apparently vampires dance. Uh, so an uncommon, two red, white for a 1-3 vamp. Flying haste at the beginning of combat on your turn. Up to two target creatures you control. Each get 1-0 until end of turn. Not terrible. Uh, yeah, not terrible. I don't hate it. Oh, we got a mythic, and it is a planeswalker. Here we go. What are you? It's black. Oh, is it going to be my boyfriend? Yes. Yes, now it's a party. We got Soren the Mirthless. Oh, God, you're beautiful. I'm not switching sides, but I think about it every time I see this card. Uh, two black black for a Soren planeswalker. What is going on? Is that art? Oh, these are blood petals. I get it. They're, they're, they're rose petals. So it's a four uh, loyalty, and plus one is look at the top card of your library. You may reveal that card and put it in your hand. If you do, you lose life equal to its mana cost. Minus two, create a two, three vamp with flying and lifelink. I don't hate that. Uh, so, and then minus seven, Soar on the Mirthless deals 13 damage to any target, and you gain 13 life. I suppose this is a pretty banging card in standard. Um, I don't know that I would ever play it. I mean, at best, what I'm going to be doing every turn, as long as I could protect him, I'll roll that through there. But uh, that's what I really want to do is make those two, three flyer lifelinkers. So, uh, Carl, does this have any value? I don't know. I, I don't know. Uh, but it's fun. Maybe it'll get played. You're going to the party, though, Soren, because I was made for loving you. Uh, Dark Dawnheart Disciple and Insect Token. All right. Two, two, left. Whoa, wait, wait. Does, has anybody noticed something here? I didn't do this on purpose, but just take a look. She is in the middle of one huge sausage party. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, girl. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's see if we can get you some friends. I mean, well, okay, blood tail celebrate, but, you know, that thing, It's it, A, it's a kid, and B, um, yeah, yeah, no list card. And this, there's more damage. I know I didn't do that. Jeez, man. There's that thing. Uh, Swamp. Whoa, whoa, what happened to you, dude? Whoa, that is messed up. Uh, exile a zombie or target opponent exiles two cards from their hand. Well, that's sweet. Three mana and a card cost you to get rid of two cards from someone else's hand. Undying Malice. Rot tie, persistent specimen, diver scab again, skull scab. I think we've already pulled you. Uncommon for cat catapult fodder. 
Uh, two and a black for a creature zombie. One five. At the beginning of combat on your turn, if you control three or more creatures that each have toughness greater than their power, transform catapult of water. And what do we get? We get a two six zombie that says two black tap, sacrifice another creature, target opponent loses life equal to the sacrificed creature's toughness. Oh man, I still want to build around that. It's like a Doran deck, right? Oh man. Yeah, that's, that's sweet. Man, like it. Uh, common weary prisoner, you're in trouble. Well, there we go. Every single video. All right, now the ladies have shown up. And now we can, oh, look at that, right into the rare Falcon Wrath Forebear. Now it's a party. Uh, two and a black for a vamp flying. Forebear, it's a 3 1. Forebear can't block. Uh, when it deals combat damage to a player, create a blood token and then one set, sacrifice two blood tokens, return it from your graveyard to the battlefield. Yeah, no. You're going to the party, old woman, but what's the value, Carlito? Ugh. And we've got a foil common for the bleed dry and no list guard. There we go. One pack left. We got the Sauron, though. I don't hate that. That's the, uh, the, what else? Let's see if we can get a full 12, uh, we at 12? Yeah, we need to get a full 12 uh, party guest. Last comment, wow, just again. I, I might have bent that, but look at the edges of his cards. Good God, like somebody cut the sheet with their teeth. There's that castle of Dracula, right? Voldaren estate, whatever. Forest, the bat, invitation, vampire slayer. Deals damage to a vampire to destroy that creature. Yep. Yep. Got to know your meta there. Uh, what do we got? We got Ancient Lumber Knot. Uh, two black green for a 1 4. Tree Folk. Each creature you control with power greater, toughness greater than its power assigns combat damage equal to its toughness. There it is. I think it's Doran. Am I, am I thinking of the right deck? Yeah. So it's Doran. I think it's the Planeswalker where it says basically this thing. Same thing. And you put a bunch of like 113s in there and uh, it becomes like a, a crazy juggernaut deck. Uh, what else we got? Spike Ripsaw again. And a common Binding Ghast. All right, let's end this one on a bang. Mischievous Catgeist. What is going on in that cuteness? So it's the ghost of a cat and all the ghost wants to do is play with, I guess, the ghost of yarn. Uh, whenever it deals combat damage, damage to a player, draw a card and disturb it for three, and it comes back as cat-like curiosity. Okay, enchant creature has whenever this, car this creature deals combat damage to a player, draw a card. Okay, yeah, that's weird. I'm not a cat person, though. No. Uh, got a common, there we go. And the, we have all 12. We have 12 with our drunken, crazy ex-girlfriend. And we got a 3-3 three, three rare, what did we get? Ill-Tempered Loner. Wow. Man, the card names. Two Red Red for a 3-3 three, three Human Werewolf. Uh, when it is dealt, dealt damage, it deals that much damage to any target. Okay? And then uh, you could pump it 2-0 for one in a uh, run in a red. And on the butt, we've got a Howl Pack Avenger. So it's a 4-4. Four, four. Whenever a permanent you control is dealt damage, Howl Pack Avenger deals that much damage to any target. And then you could pump it again. Carl, show me the nickel. And our common, our, our, our foil is a common, and that is it. That is the end. So we got, what we, how did we wound up? I think we had another rare in here, didn't we? Nope, that's it. So, the six packs get the party together, put them all away for now. We did really well. We're, this party, uh, this whole party thing, we're averaging like 12. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, our extra mythic was the uh commander deck mythic so yeah not too bad carl uh six packs on top and on the bottom box so far get your boosters get your shots this ain't funny goddamn covid